Hey, what's up? It's Jay Lucky Henry, and today we're going to talk about inspection and what does it mean. They ask me how I know it'll be okay. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R E A L, real estate explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds. Give or take. Welcome back. It's Jay Lucky Henry. Now, full disclosure. Inspection is not a way to determine the value of the property, but I included it in this series because it's often misunderstood and people think that inspection sometimes does help determine the value of a property. So let me break down what an inspection is. An inspection is when a licensed inspector comes in and goes through the entire property looking for any and everything that has or could go wrong with the property. So they're looking for structural things, they're looking for some cosmetic things I even mentioned in the reports. The more detailed the inspector is, the longer that inspection report's gonna be, right? Inspection reports have been as thick as this. Some have been, nah, never have been one this thin. They were always thick. Inspectors, it's their job to literally find any and everything that could go wrong. Even on new constructed homes where all the permits were built and everything was brand new, you still get an inspection report this thick. So who hires these inspectors, right? Not the bank, different from an appraisal. Most of the time, it's the buyer, right? And they hire their own inspector so that they can be sure that what they're walking into is a safe investment, right? And this typically happens before the bank even gets their appraisal in. So most of the time, after an offer, you have anywhere from one to two weeks, seven to 14 days to put your inspection clause in, to get the time to find an inspector, hire them, bring them out to the property, have them inspect the property, deliver you a report, and allow you to make a decision whether you wanna move forward or not with this property based on what was discovered in that report. So if you are in a competitive market, you often hear sometimes people are waiving inspections, right? People are waiving um, financing contingencies. All of these things are just contingencies you wanna get rid of to make your offer stronger. But if there's no need, right? And sometimes, even if it seems like there is a need, especially in older homes, I strongly recommend you do go ahead and get that inspection. Unless, of course, you have someone or you yourself are an expert or a contractor or someone diligent enough to go through the property and determine for yourself or with their help that this property will be a strong investment and that it won't fall apart two days after you buy it, All right? So that's what an inspection is. Again, it does not help you determine the value of the property. It helps you figure out everything that could affect the value of your property. See you tomorrow with another video. <laughs> this is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.